My name is Helen Flaherty and I'm Head of Product and Marketing at EasyDebit. We're a proud global payments company and have helped more than 60,000 businesses across Australia and New Zealand with their payment solutions. At EasyDebit, we believe that every business deserves to be paid on time and in the easiest, most efficient way possible. So if you want to spend more time running your business and less time chasing payments, reach out to us at easydebit.com.au. Innovation drives everything we do at EasyDebit. To be at the forefront of technology is important to encourage new talent, new ideas, and most importantly, new leadership. This is why EasyDebit is the proud sponsor of tonight's Emerging FinTech Leader of the Year 2023 award. These men and women are leading the way in ensuring that the future of FinTech is brighter, smarter, and more creative than it ever was. Without further ado, let's see the nominees. Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Bridget. Born and raised as a first-generation Australian, I grew up with the great Australian dream of one day owning my own home, one that I could grow up with my family. However, in a market saturated with overly complicated and largely manual processes, I was exposed to the difficulty in accessing suitable property financing from a young age. This led me into a passionate journey in founding Bridget, a non-bank lender with a mission of helping Australian homeowners make progress through property ownership and buy their next home on their own terms. And so the Bridget Buy Now Sell Later product was born. In today's rapidly changing world, successful leaders need to possess a range of attributes that navigate their complex challenges, inspire others and drive positive change. These attributes include one, visionary leadership. It's vital to have a clear vision for the future and to create a sense of purpose that drives innovation, keeps us agile and helps us stay ahead of our competition. And two, team building, trust, and motivation. At Bridget, our company culture is built on the belief that business's success is directly tied to the happiness of our employees. Here at Bridget, divergent thinking is encouraged and mistakes are viewed as an opportunity to create education and innovation. My family's migration had a profound impact on me. Their courage, determination, and drive provided me with countless opportunities and inspired me every day to strive for excellence. In addition, I seek inspiration from people within our business because it's the people within Bridget that have made it into the success it is today. No matter how good an idea is, it takes an entire team of diverse and talented individuals to make it great. I also engage with our customers and understand their needs. I gain valuable insights from, their, from them and their ideas. Conversations with these individuals allow us to understand the challenges and then offer innovative solutions to their problems. I also find inspiration from other accomplished leaders. I immerse myself in books and podcasts and share their stories, allowing me to learn from their experiences. Hey, my name is Ben Simpson. I'm the founder of Collective Shift. We are a cryptocurrency investor insights hub uh, and education platform. So we help people in crypto not follow all the bad advice online and we help them in a trusted environment where we can provide good information so they uh, don't make bad decisions. So yeah, we have over about a thousand active paying subscribers. We've been around for two and a half years now. I've done a number of talks, I've done a TEDx talk uh, and really passionate about helping people in this space because it's, um, it's a growing area, but unfortunately there's just so much misinformation out there. Now around the leadership, most important attributes, look, you know, I, I think I could talk about all the different you know, strategies and tactics as being a good leader and you know, I think for, mo for the most part, all that might be true, but for me, it's just about being a good person uh, and genuinely caring about people and, and showing them the path forward uh, by your own actions. So, you know, whether that be working hard, being empathetic, admitting you're wrong, taking everyone's opinions on board, uh, you know, really caring about others. Like, I think it's just about being a good person. Uh, my team's been through me from this, you know, with me from the start. We've been through some, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, adversity uh, with an ex-business partner of mine. And they all stuck by me, and I think it's just about being upfront and open and honest and transparent and vulnerable, and being real and not giving uh, not giving the fluff. And um, you know, uh, my, my team's been um, with me by my side ever since. So for me, it's just about being a good person. And who I look up for inspiration is probably my parents. Like they taught me that from a young age. Like you know, I'm from I'm from Tasmania, as I said, just an everyday guy, and uh, they always taught me to be an up, upfront, sort of standing, open, honest, transparent person, and 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 just do nice things um, when you can. You know, if you give people. Uh, you know, the, the time of day and attention and, and, you know, you help them, they'll help you in return. So, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a playbook on that. I'll just be who I am and be, be up front and um, just be the best person I can be and, and, and they should follow. Hi, everyone. My name is Camille. I'm the co-founder of Bloom Impact Investing. 
Our mission is to make climate investing easy and accessible to all Australians, because we believe that everyone should be able to own and benefit from the clean energy transition. Sadly today, a lot of climate solution exists, but they do not receive the funding that they need to scale and really fix climate change. In fact, only 16% of climate finance needs are currently met. And the world needs to invest 4.35 trillion in US dollars every single year until 2030, if you want a chance to maintain um, a good trajectory for global warming. So this is the reason why I have created Bloom to hopefully um, bridge the climate funding gap and taking everyone on the journey to a better and safer climate future. In terms of successful leaders that um, inspire me, I think successful leaders are kind, they care about the impact they make in the world, they embody a vision that is greater than themselves, um, and I think they see themselves as contributors in an ecosystem, which means that um, what I've observed is um, that they often give time and energy to people who are a lot more junior, um, and they help them grow um, along the way. So for inspiration, I really look up to um, my friend and mentor, Adam Verway. Um, Adam is the co-founder of Future Super, um, a very successful, um, impactful superannuation fund that has grown from scratch up to 10 billion uh, under management. And this capital is deployed um, to accelerate our climate transition and to create a good impact in the world. So I have a lot of respect and it's very inspiring for um, Bloom as a, as a young fund manager. Hi, I'm Cassie, and I am the co-founder of Flutter Insurance. Flutter is making insurance more affordable, more accessible, and more exciting for everyone, but with a particular focus on young people and renters. We're helping people protect just what matters at the time that it matters. One of the most important attributes, I think, for leaders today is to have an insatiable desire to learn. You know, we're constantly looking at new market trends, new technologies, new strategies. Uh, and I think it's really important for leaders to set their ego aside um, when there's something new they don't know about and, and ask questions and draw on the knowledge of their, their team and other sources to really try to understand things, try to learn new things so that then they can apply that to their own lives, but also to the business that they're trying to lead. Another important quality I think uh, leaders should have today, and it may sound really obvious, but the ability to listen. Um, to listen to your team, to have empathy for your team, to listen to your customer, to understand what they want, um, you know, instead of building products that you think might do well in market or people might want. To actually listen properly to feedback, I think, is an incredible quality that maybe less leaders than we'd like actually have. The people I look up to for inspiration probably change depending on you know the problem or the task at hand um, but generally speaking I do gravitate more toward really strong female leaders um, my co-founder Steph other women in fintech in the room tonight uh, as well as you know politicians cultural icons all kinds of women uh, who are really forging the way for the rest of us hi I'm Jude Blankfield and I'm the chief of staff at SLIP SLIP is a fintech that's built in partnership with the four major banks. We deliver smart receipts seamlessly to the customer's bank app. It's better for the bank, better for the merchant, better for the customer and better for the environment as well. For me, the most important attributes in a leader is being able to lead with empathy and listen to what it is that your team needs. Often this means skills like clear communication, uh, feeling comfortable giving and receiving feedback um, and really leaning in and rolling your sleeves up and doing what it is that the team is doing together with them in the trenches. When it comes to looking up to leaders, I can't go past my own leader, the CEO of Slip, Paul Weingarth. Him and I have a very open, transparent and direct relationship. He's comfortable giving me feedback and I love hearing feedback from him as well. He leads with empathy. He shows me how to be a better leader every day and he helps me work better with the team, with our organisation as well. Fintech Australia, thank you for nominating myself and Elvate uh, at this year's uh, Finney's Awards. Uh, we're incredibly uh, thankful for the nomination. Um, I'm Morty, the CEO and co-founder of Elbate, Australia's leading self-custody cryptocurrency exchange. We were founded in 2017. Uh, what makes a strong leader for myself is the ability to tell a story. Uh, a story can inspire your people at the company. A story can resonate with your customers. And a story can make the company more than just a company, but a strong brand. Um, for me, my inspiration is my own sister, who also happens to be 
the co-founder of Elevate and another nominee uh, for this year's uh, FinTech Awards. Um, what makes her my uh, inspiration is the fact that she took a big leap of faith um, in this industry and on myself uh, at a very young age um, and it's been a phenomenal journey with her and we've both grown as people, as leaders in this space. So big shout out to Samira. Hi, my name's Paul. I'm the CTO of Lumi. Lumi is an alternative fintech lender that utilizes a data-driven approach to provide fast, transparent, and flexible finance to businesses across Australia. The most important attributes as a successful leader that I find is firstly, transparency. I find especially being a young leader, it's very important to build trust within your team when you don't have as much experience maybe as, as sometimes uh, the people you're managing. I believe the successful leaders that I've worked with in the past, they really bring people on the journey in their decision making. They really put their egos at the door and in every interaction, they make sure that everybody's voice is heard and make sure that everybody feels part of that journey. I think transparency is the most important aspect to, to building trust. Secondly, I think having a growth mindset and being resilient. I think that is probably the most important attribute. I think especially in technology, um, where I work and the successful uh, technology leaders that I've worked with in the past, they, they really embody this value. Especially in technology, there's a lot of moving parts. Things go wrong, probably more, more so than we would care to admit. Um, but when these things happen, it's really important that we don't play the blame game. It's really important that we take these interactions and we, we, we build them as opportunities to be able to fix that problem and go on to the next thing. I think that is really important in creating a really safe environment where people can not only feel safe to fail, but also feel really safe to innovate. If they're not scared of failing, then they're not scared of raising new ideas, especially in a business like ours at Lumi, we're very innovative, we're always taking risks on new technologies. It's really important that the team feel that uh, they're able to experiment with these things. The people that I look to for inspiration, um, definitely current and past leaders that I work with. Um, I've got the opportunity of working with some amazing people here at Lumi. Um, the, the CEO and Deputy CEO, Yanir and Anna, are, are phenomenal. Um, I look to them constantly for inspiration. Um, there's another uh, team member here, Steve Lambert, um, who's one of the directors. Um, uh, amazing source of inspiration. I find just listening to their thought process and, and how they communicate with people, uh, I think really, really helps me um, uh, interact with my team as well. Definitely books and podcasts, that's another uh, a huge one for me. Um, in particular, um, uh, I, I had an early mentoring session with uh, the CTO of, of Tyro, uh, who recommended this book um, called The Manager's Path by uh, Camille Fournier. Um, fantastic book and it's, it's, um, it's really shaped um, uh, a lot of the decisions that I make and, and the way that I uh, uh, conduct myself. Um, also CTOs and, and, um, and other uh, leaders in similar businesses just through in industry connections, um, I also find uh, massive inspiration from. Hi everyone, I'm Samira, CTO and co-founder of Elbate. We are Australia's leading wallet to wallet cryptocurrency exchange. We've been operating for the past five years in Australia and it's been such an incredible journey. We've had the Finneys support us over the years through the finals, finals nominations. So thank you so much. And we're super excited to be celebrating with you all in person. Um, and the most important skills I believe for a, for a leader to have is the ability to cultivate the perfect team to achieve your, your vision. It is a vision that you are all working towards. So um, making sure you've got the right team members at the right time of the business as well. It is crit quite critical to achieving that. And so who do I look up to? So I started this whole journey when I was 21 years old and I was motivated by my older brother who had approached me at a time in my life where I was finishing the end of my electrical engineering degree. And there were so many pathways that I could choose from. And I was inspired by his bravery to choose really one of the most difficult and unknown roads possible, which is to create your own business, um, create your own technology out of it. And so I was inspired by the idea that, hey, I do have a safety net living in Australia. Why not grab the moment and try and achieve the most possible difficult goal that is out there, which is creating your own business. And it's been the most rewarding, most difficult <laughs> decision ever, but it's been incredible. So I do want to thank my older brother for helping me make that decision. Thank you.